Shut your damn mouth, cracker. Are you bleeding again? <laughs> what do you do with the nose rag? No. What's wrong with you? You would think after all these episodes that we've done that you would be on time for once. Uh, first of all, I've been here for the past hour. It ain't my fault you had fucking nosebleeds. Well, just because stuff. just because you're in the bathroom taking a D and typing in chat, making it seem like it's my fault, doesn't mean that it wasn't your fault. That was Mike, not me. Thank you. You'll be blaming me. I shit in the morning. Whatever. I don't even have a cup of coffee ready. Oh, man. I could go. You know what? I could actually go for a coffee. Should we take a coffee break and let Mark just sit here in the blackness and entertain? Yeah. Well, I'll fun. go for a coffee break, too. Yo, Mr. 100,000 subscribers, why don't you sit here and entertain everybody? I could uh, actually ask my wife to make me a coffee. Yeah. I don't get paid enough. Why don't you ask Amy to make you a cup of coffee, Brian? Because she'd say no, get it myself. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as I start talking to her, she realizes that the show's on and she'll start to troll it. Mm-hmm. Brian is muted. <laughs> You're already getting trolled. <laughs> Am I really muted? Yeah. They can't see you, so how do they know that you're muted? Exactly. Well, they can hear me. They're fucking with you, man. Oh. I think it's time to start. Yeah, let's let's begin, shall we? Good evening. What is up, everybody? 136 is upon us. Vape Team, episode 136. We're back. Another week. Another time spent with Mark Fagan. You're, you got some blood right there, Brian, still. I wasn't even bleeding, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the only thing that's bleeding is the pussy between your legs. Woo-hoo! Woo! How about, Mike, all the demands from Mr. 100,000 subscribers today? Wow, huh? It's getting to his head big time. Yes, sir. Did you hear he He's asked? Demanded. Dude, he demanded for me to make an appointment to talk to him. <laughs> He's like, he wrote you out. He's actually wants to throw you off the vape team. We're thinking about it. I heard that. And you know what, Mark? The fall is going to be so fucking hard on you, and I'm so sad that it has to happen that way. But go ahead, keep with your fuckboy attitude and trying to live your fucking aggressive lifestyle, and it's going to come back to haunt you. Yeah. I don't need you riding my coattails. <laughs> <laughs> if you support yourself, then I don't know what to tell you. Let me tell you something. I'm the one that takes the fucking water here, my friend. <laughs> Let's just make that perfectly clear. You like to drink Kool-Aid out of a dick cup. I'm drinking tap water. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, you're, dude, that Chicago tap water probably has like tons of heavy. It's probably worse than smoking. Probably is. It's yeah. good. Good. So anyway, yeah, the show's upon us. Uh, let's do a little bit of introductions. In the top left, the icon that made it the iconic, the Greek god of vaping. I actually wait a minute. I got a message here from a gentleman from Fagan Industries that said Mark was co-designer on the iconic. Is that true, Mike? Huh? It's actually Mark's uh, RDA. <laughs> okay. on it. But now that he hit 100K, he wants me to take my name off it. Now he wants his name on it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the Greek cloud, the King Cloud Greek Vapor from Athens, Greece. <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Lung, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the Matchstick Man, Mikey Motherfucking Vapes. Good evening. 
Good evening, Greg. Good evening, Greg. I'd like to say good evening, Greg, to Greg in chat tonight. I'd like to watch, tell everyone to watch their P's and Q's because he will get that wrench bloody out there. Uh, also a gentleman that I got a, no bullshit tonight, guys. It's going to be a little sappy. This motherfucker, this beautiful, outrageous, unpredictable. Let's not make it, not make it gay. Dude, just because you're on the show makes it all the gay that it needs. All right? <laughs> He, he's not afraid to take his top off. He's always entertaining. He's full of gas, full of hot air. He has an Asian Santa next to him. Every single day, there's something new to laugh with him about. You might not like him at first, like Mike and I both didn't, and we talked behind his back a lot. Yep. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> that motherfucker is like a fungus, and he grows on you until you love him. Mm -hmm. And there's just something so endearing, so special. That's why he is tonight for one night only. He is a special honored guest vape team member. Nice. There you go, baby. So congratulations. Vape and Fagan, everyone. Let's just all give him a round of applause. 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I thought I'd be a full-fledged member by now, but I guess not. Exactly. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I just checked his stats, and it says 65,000 subscribers. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> he just lost 100, 100 subs. My credit card got declined when I bought those subs. Yep. So, Mark, do you want to tell uh, anybody anything? You want to have a moment for the people out there, your your followers, your fans, your lovers, ex-boyfriends, anything? Uh, just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How much money did you pay for all those subs? Uh, it was quite expensive. We actually had to put up the car in the house, but <laughs> it was well worth it. Marcus works at the Asian food market down the street during during <laughs> school year. Actually, took a few jobs just to just to make the hundred thousand happen. Nice. I know. I talked to Angela earlier today, and she told me how proud she was of you, which is really special. She's like, "What do you get after you hit a hundred thousand? I'm like, "Nothing. You get a plaque. That's all you get." Yep. You expected like mustache rides or something, did you? Yeah. It's good though because I'll tell you something. Whenever I walk to film a video, because I film my reviews on the other side, my plaque is on the wall. I look right at it, and I, you know what I'm saying. It's just, yep. It's a motivation thing. It's an accomplishment. You know that's what it is. So, does it have your real name on there, Tito Barrera, or is it Mike? Vapes? <laughs> or is it Mike Vapes? Tito <laughs> Barrera. <laughs> Uh, let's do a little buffet, shall we, gentlemen? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. It's that time again. All you can vape buffet time. And uh, we're going to let our special member guest of honor tonight, Mark, start the buffet. Take All right. Uh, DNA 250 with the drop. The SQ SC Punisher with the iconic and the mag with this. I still don't know the name of the sub ohm tank, but it's on top of there. And also, still vaping on this little e leaf, uh, uh, bat basil or basil or whatever the hell. And two from the cloud chemist and uh, some nada. And I got some tough puff 18 milligram in here. A little bit of TP. He's yeah. got Puff Puffy liquid in there. Nice. Hell yeah. Did, did you have t uh, Tough Puff put a build on your uh, Iconic today or what? Yes, they did put a build on it. I appreciate that, Tough Puff. Thank you. Nice. They do a good job, much better than you. They do. They do a great job. Yep. Not sure what kind of wire they use, but uh, tastes good. One of your exes is out there in chat, and he donated five dollars. Truck and vapes uh, <laughs> said <laughs> congratulations for that five dollar donation. So, thank you, trucking. Wait, is that trucking? Trucking? Yep. Truck yep, and vapes. Truck. Thank you. Yep. I'll be sure to get that five dollars off Brian this weekend. Thank he you. said, even though we're not together anymore, you'll always be in my heart, Mark. Congratulations. So there you go. I did, I did get these two mech mods that I was so hoping to have builds for before the show, but I was slacking. So I didn't pull a Brian and just throw an atomizer on there. I just, I'm just not vaping them. What do you mean, pull a Brian? That's a signature move that I've created. 
Yep. Exactly. It's becoming popular in vaping circles all over the world. No battery, <laughs> no juice, no build, no problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. What are you uh, vaping on, Brian? I don't know. What am I vaping on? I've actually gone 100% solo Juul. That's what I vape now, nonstop. <laughs> I'm, uh, so tonight I have menthol in the Juul. Thank you. Isn't it so much easier if we just all vape jewels? We should just buffet? we should just jewel. Oh, let me grab mine. Yeah. Fuck that. Where's my bow? I got my bow. We should become fanboys of one pod system each, and we'll all fight against which one's the better one. The bow's better. We'll have naked knife fights in like dark parking lots over which is better. Or you could do them both. Is my wife in chat? Flirting with people? Yep. Good. Thank you, Amy. She's asking people in the chat for... She wants to get sponsored by them. That's sad. Pretty soon she's going to start sending those emails saying, my personal friend, Mike Vapes, recommended that I contact you. Wait and see, Mike. Look at my mod. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) She'll have have pictures of you and her in Disney. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Here we go. Um... What am I vaping on for real, for real? A little bit of this Dinner Lady Blackberry Crumble. This shit is unreal. Mm. Tasty, tasty stuff. Blackberry Crumble. Have you had this, Mike? I tried it in, when I was in the UK. What did you think? Good. Yeah, I thought of you because I know you like raspberry stuff, and it has like that raspberry, blackberry type flavoring to it. They only had little uh, little sample 10 ml bottles, and I was like, oh, my God, this stuff is so good. And they told me they were going to send me some. I never got it, but... uh. I'd like to know who sells it. I want to go buy it. This was actually sent by a, uh, a a really great vapor by the name of Jade. At least that's her screen name. I'm not going to publicly say her real name, but she sent it to me. And uh, really, really good stuff. I put nicotine in it, and I mixed it up, and it, and it vapes fucking awesome. So I really enjoy it. So thank you, Jade. Uh, also, what about some of my vaping? A little bit of Paradigm, according to Mark, but we all know it as Paradigm. This is Nilakilla. That I'm vaping on tonight. I've actually almost nilla killed this whole bottle. Nice. It's getting really low. Um, as far as mods go, I'm vaping on this beautiful V Boy that was gifted to me by Mikey Motherfucking Vapes because he knew mm-hmm. I'd love it. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. Uh, with the iconic on top. Not even screwed in. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Can I explain? Mark, you shut up with your judging. I can feel your eyes on me. You can't even vape Mike's RDA on this show. Take your what? pants off and just deal with yourself, please. Your aggression's getting ridiculous. You need to drain the fucking sack. You get violent and sexual when you get like this. Mike's the one that caught it, not me. Yeah, but Mike... Okay, let me explain why it was unscrewed. Because there is... All right, you know what? Let's see the build. There is... Okay, there you go. There's a fucking build. Yeah, I knew it. What? That's a build. Yeah, there's a build. Right. I have a new way of vaping. I, I drip juice right on the on the coils because it's great flavor without cut the cotton flavor. No, we're gonna. I'm, <sighs> I don't think you you vape. Barely. I'm, okay. I'm getting triggered a little bit. Today, <laughs> okay. This is the deal. I'm gonna show a close up of the iconic tonight, and that's the whole point. Let's see how everybody on this wonderful panel. Some serious appreciation for what they do and what they represent in this community. Much love. Oh, that was DJ LSB. Thank you, Daniel. Is that in euros? That's in oh. euros. Wow, 50 euros. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel Batista, Mr. DJ LSB Vapes, who's a huge part of our fa- vape mm-hmm. family. Much love to Daniel. Um, yeah, so we're going to dive up close with the Iconic tonight and uh, show it off. So that's why it, there was no... There was no cotton in there. Good save, good save. So I will be vaping on that tonight. I'm also vaping on, which I was filling the tank before the show started, but there is... <laughs> this is a clusterfuck. If you weren't late, it would have been all right. But yeah, this is the... Uh... Boom, the mag. The mag. Oh, you got the blue one too, huh? Yep. With the uh, coils that you and Daniel actually recommended that I put in there last night, the point uh, one fours, I think, much better. Yes, but the one with the four coils in there, right? Yeah, with the four coils. Oh, yeah, those are good. 
a little bit of leaking when I refill it. I don't know yeah. if you guys, yeah, I don't know if it was just too, I overfilled it and then when I closed it, it was too much pressure or something like that, but um, that's what I'm vaping on tonight. And anything else, a little bit of this vanilla custard from royalvapeproducts.com. A little bit of Joe Turner royal custard tonight, vanilla custard. And I'm going to be dripping that in another Iconic that we're going to build on the show tonight. So there you go. That's what I'm vaping on. Mikey, motherfucking vapes. Word. All right. So just so everybody knows, the one with the gold posters, that was the beta version. The gold. So people will get confused with the gold post screws on that. Are mine gold? No. No, no, no. The, the one Brian showed with the gold oh, okay. post screws. That was a beta. Anyway, uh, I'm also vaping on the mag mod with the prints, but I have the RBA base in the prints. Yeah. And inside there, I have some Sweet Tooth Roy G. Biv inside that mod. I'm also vaping on this squonker called the Warrior. With the drop RDA. And there we have some My Mojito Skinny Vape. Also vaping on the V-Boy with the engine. V-Boy and engine. In there I have some Royal Custard, baby. Joe motherfucking Turner. Inside that, uh, vaping on the Blade of God Mechanical Mod with the Iconic RDA. And there we have some RKOI coil spill. Uh, what is she vaping on, Mac? I'm also vaping on this new one here. I don't even know the name of it. I'm just going to show it. It's from iDroy. It takes uh, 21700, 2700, or 18650 with the sub ohm tank there, the regular Captain sub ohm tank. In here, we are vaping on, I don't know. Oh, I know what's in there. Paradigm, because I just filled it up with some paradigm, paradigm, twat. I mean, twang. Oof, some twang. My bad. Uh, anything else? Oh, I'm also vaping on this bad boy, too. SQ with another iconic with some blue pucker. Tony B. That's it. That's it. What the fuck? There you go, Brian. Perfect. All right, stop reading chat. What the hell was that? You just missed what happened. I wasn't she, looking at the screen. She I was poking Brian with a salami in his face, and then she... <laughs> I'm going to give her some salami if she doesn't watch herself. I have a feeling I know where you got we that got salami. got sausage. Sausage. Did you get that from somebody? Good question. You just interrupted Mike's buffet. He's going to be mad at you. Whatever. I got um, the same sausage. What? Did she just say whatever? She said whatever. But I have a bag, no joke, full with like over 100 bumpers for her. He has a bag of 100 bumpers for you, and he's upset right now. He might not give them to you. I think I might forget them, tell her by mistake. I'm going to forget them here. Look at the camera. Where, she has where Mickey is it? Oh. Hi! <laughs> Are you guys ready? Nope. <laughs> she comes on the show like a handicapped deer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see my list of our activities. Oh, no. Not me. You can, no. I don't know. Not, I'm not even going. Like, he said, not me. Uh-huh. I'm not I going. I reserved all day for you. Uh, no. Do you, I, do you need to... Um, I had a question. I had to know crazy. Me and Mark are ditching all of you guys going to fucking Chuck E. Cheese all day. With, yep. We have our coloring books and our jewels. We'll be all set. They're going to Chuck E. Cheese with coloring books and jewels. Okay. Um, <laughs> if I bring the stuff to build, I have to put that... I have to check my bag, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Amy. Thanks for interrupting the show. There's thousands of people that are just intrigued by what you have to say. <laughs> wow. Please thank Brett for the salami. Yes, I was going to contact Brett. Thank you for the salami, Brett. My wife Thanks, loves it. Brett. Yeah, Brett sent us Christmas gifts today. And it was uh, some meat and some cheese and things like that. So thank you. I've been using the meat in other ways. Not eating it, but... We figured that. Has she been wearing those ears all day long? Dude, she wears them to sleep some nights. Wow. Yep. She, she's like probably really excited about this trip. Yep. I'm more excited about uh, 
I'm excited about S- Saturday's gonna be fun. Yep. Uh, Monday's gonna be fun. Why don't we let everybody know what we're doing first for the people that are I'm confused excited. out there? I'm excited about the expo. Uh, we are all going to Orlando this weekend. We're actually uh, leaving tomorrow. We're gonna go to Orlando. Uh, Saturday we will be at the vape convention at Orlando. I think it's called or- Orlando Vape Expo. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, the three of us will be there on Saturday. Then Sunday, we are going to Disney World. Yeah. yeah. The vape team at Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so fucking <laughs> funny. Yo, we have to make sure that we get some epic photos of us three at the fucking Disney World. We have oh. to. Because yeah, Mark is going to tank so quickly. We have to make sure we get him early in the day. Blowing clouds and getting kicked out. I could see Mark saying something inappropriate and having the Mickey police come and take him right out of there. Oh, man. I'm not going to last the whole day. There's no fucking way in the world. Yep. Scott Muller says that he's really excited to finally meet us all. Nice. Yep. Finally, I'm excited to meet you, Scott. I would say Mark probably is going to be standoffish now that he's hit that pinnacle 100,000 subscriber mark and he's probably going to have some sort of rope around him or something like that. Someone said not allowed to vape in Disney World. Don't they have like smoking sections? Yes. Yeah, so we vape at the smoking section. I usually just vape and hold it in and then That's like... That's why we have this. We got these. That's all equipped with... You know? Be in stealth mode. Yes, guy to vaping. Uh, looks like the vape team has dropped to number four. Because... All of the Vape Wild supporters went and supported Vape Wild. Who the hell isn't Vape Wild a juice company? All right, well, yeah. let's do this. Could anybody that's watching the show tonight, uh, if somebody could put in chat a link to the voting for Guide to Vaping, you guys can go in there and you can vote. And if you do believe that the Vape team is the greatest or Mike Vapes is or Fagan or Daniel or anybody else is the yep. the best channel or whatever you think the best products are on the market or the best juices on the market, Go there and vote and support. Yep. Support, yes. The guy, the guy to vaping. Yep. Somebody will put a link in there. I'm sure. Yep. I don't understand. Like Vape Wild always wins certain categories that they have nothing to do with. Yeah, that's because they they put themselves in each category. Whatever. It, but they have their fans. The fans are gonna vote for them. You know. It's crazy. But uh. Anyway, we we're talking about. Oh yeah. So yes, Disney World. We're going to be there on uh, just on, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, the vape convention in Orlando will be there just on Saturday for people wondering. <laughs> Only on Saturday we'll be there. Yeah. Just look for the uh, the red carpet that's rolled out. We'll probably be right there because they will have a red carpet rolled out for me. Oh, uh, Pal702 yeah. donated $10 and he said, I'm vaping. Hit that donut strawberry out of my drop at 80 watts and it tastes so fucking delicious that my balls are tingling. Wow. <laughs> that is exactly the fucking message that he left in chat right there. Beautiful. I can't fight that. And Shane Smith also said three of his favorite amigos, and he made a donation also. So much love to you, Shane Smith. Yep. We love you. Shane's There's been around since early days. There's the link. Daniel is saying, please do not vote for him in that link. Okay, don't vote for Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless self plug by Mr. Batista. Uh huh. Ah, man. And then uh, Sunday, uh, we're going with the wives to Disney World. And then Monday, just the wives, right? Yeah, just the wives are going to either Animal Kingdom or Hollywood Studios on Monday while the boys stay back at the house and yes. gangbang. Yes. Yep. Just sit back, relax. So imagine this Sunday night. We have special tickets to go to this, like, Christmas parade at the Magic Kingdom. Uh-huh. And there's, like, you have to get your seats and everybody's pushed in together and it's overcrowded. Just imagine fucking Baby Fagan over there sitting on the curb with his fucking thumb in his mouth l- trying to live stream, but he can't get a good Wi-Fi connection. And he's all <laughs> distracted. I can't w- and, and he's been at the park since, like, 8 in the morning when Amy got him out of bed. It's going to be so fucking You fun. need to worry about Mike because Mike's not going to be able to hang that long either. Yeah, I see Mike in Alabama. He can't hang that long. Mike's you know got that, phenom. You know that? Uh, you know that? I think we should even bring jackets with us. It's gonna be like forty degrees at night. Really? Yeah. It's wow. fucking for Florida. It's cold. That sucks too. 
I'm wow. going there thinking it's going to be nice. Yeah, Friday's going to be 80. Then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's going to be 60. Low 40s. Yep. Anyway, Hollywood Studios. Thumbs up. Yes. Do you want to go through this best of? Yeah. We, we can give to... our best ofs. Or do you have something else? Lined well, up? we definitely want to talk about the iconic tonight, but it's. I talk about that. Well, we can do we both. Can do this. We can do this after. Well, let's let Mike pick. Uh, whatever you guys want, Donald. Um... I'd like to talk about the iconic with everybody because I know a lot of people have ordered it, pre-ordered it already. And if you haven't, you can head over to my V Pro. I'm sure somebody will put a link in chat. But uh, I think we should talk about the what we think of it on the show as a team. We'll talk about. It. I know you got a building yours, Mark. You've been vaping it for a couple days now, right? I've been vaping it for I think almost over a week. I think. Yeah, you, over last... a week. You've been you've had it for like almost three. weeks now. Yeah, yeah, I've been vaping for a while. And I've had it for, what, a month and a half, maybe? Huh? Yep. So we can talk about it. Let me switch my my camera real quick, and we'll go over the deck. Mark, Mark do you want to do camera to camera, up close to up close? We sure can. Let's do ass to ass. Well, mine's got a build in it, so you really can't see much. You're going to show the build? Don't show the build deck. I don't want it to be revealed yet. Right. <laughs> it's too late for that. <laughs> By the way, Amy had a review of the build deck like a month ago in her channel. <laughs> <laughs> So one pleasant surprise for me that I've really enjoyed, what are these called, dock drip tips, Mike? Yes. These are these drip tips I've been enjoying a lot. I thought that they would bother my lips because of the texture, but they actually give you a little bit more uh, grip on there, and they don't bother me at all. I love them. Really nice. Another thing about that is people think that it's going to leave lip crust, and I use the black one. I've been using it every day, and it's I haven't taken it to go clean it or anything. This, you know what I'm saying? It's nice. Lip crust? What the hell? Yeah, yeah, like the little crevices are going to get crust in there. Yeah. I mean, if you don't clean your drip (laughs) in like a month, yeah, you're going to have like some crud on it. If you you have cupcakes in the crevices of your lips and you put it on there, it might be a problem. (laughs) Lip crust. So if we take a look here, we have this little slit right here, which is bottom airflow also, basically. I mean... It's sort of direct lower side airflow, but it sort of comes up a ramp that's sort of underneath the coil. Mm-hmm. And then you have the two holes right here at the bottom that are bottom airflow. And boom, there's the inside. Now, you recommend placing your coil above the side air hole, right? Not in front of it. Because I, I pulled my coil up higher yesterday and it actually vaped. Like it was vaping good when I had the coil right in front of that little slit. When I pulled it up higher, it like came to life. Yeah, this got to experiment with it, you know. Yep. Some people gonna like it differently than others, but I recommend keeping the coils as close as possible away from the the posts. Right, without shorting. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So one of one of the things I've noticed a lot is that since we all vape at different wattages, different coil diameters, different, uh, the amount we pull air in, like how hard we take pulls. Like I pull like I'm fucking sucking dick, you know what I mean? Yeah, you do. I pull really hard. So for me, the suction effect is going to be a lot greater and the heat and the flavor and the temperature is going to differ. Everybody's different. Like some people like to take like real, you know, not hard pulls, tighter airflow. So coil position has a lot to do with what your preferences are. So don't be afraid to experiment, like tighter, further apart, higher up, lower down. You know, there's a lot of flexibility there. So if we take a look at the build deck, though, I think I'd like it this way. Isn't that more natural? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the first thing is is that placing coils on this thing is super fucking easy. I mean, you got your fucking post screws, two of them. Did these change, Mike? Because this is the second version that I got. It's going to come with those post screws and also uh, Allen key screws. Awesome. So you got Allen, Allen key screws. Plus, there's these little springs in here that make it really easy once you sort of uh, counterclockwise the grub screws out. They back out, and then these things lift up. So you can always put your coils in, and then when you tighten it down, it clamps really, really tight and even yep. ac- across the, uh, the post. Uh, also, another cool thing, and I think this is so deceiving. 
a lot of times, like when you have like the reload or the Kennedy, and you take a look at the um, the, the build deck space, this thing's seven and a half milliliters or millimeters deep as far as the juice well goes. So the amount of space that you have in there for liquid is ridiculous. Like yep. super, I'm talking like deep as shit. Look at the height of this on the side. So as far as like over squonking and shit like that, I have never once, and I squonk tough, I've never over squonked once, ever. So, not an issue at all. There goes Mark's. Well, yeah, Mark's got his a little higher than when I have mine. Yeah, I raised him up a little. And I love it like this. There you go. And then you got the, the little ramp on the side right there and for the cotton, cotton airflow hole. That cotton looks appetizing, though. It looks <laughs> fucking it. horrible. What did Tough Puff do that a month ago? <laughs> I need to really rewick. I'm going to. Well, never mind. I'm doing it tomorrow, <laughs> so I'm not going to bother rewicking it now. Yeah. Fagan Fangirl says that looks disgusting, Mark. <laughs> yep. That's the one e liquid, man. You guys picked them for 100000 There you go. There you go. You got yourselves to blame. I'm going to put a build on this as we're doing it. So, Mike, why don't you talk a little bit about what your inspiration was, what what you felt when you were you know designing this and coming up with everything. What did I feel? I what did you feel? Someone touching me. Nice. I was thinking about it. Nah, I, I want to do a bottom airflow RDA, something to where you still have a lot of room inside the build deck for your cotton. You know, I've always loved clamps. You know, I was a big fan of the goon. You know, I love clamps, but I wanted to do spring-loaded clamps because I think it's just much easier. You don't got to worry about the bevel pushing inside. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know, automatically comes up for you. Uh, I wanted the top cap to be a one-piece. I just think it looks nicer as a one-piece compared to a two-piece top cap. You know, I want it to look clean. Yeah, and great airflow and flavor. I think people are going to be surprised at how smooth the airflow is on this thing. It is very smooth. Like super, super, super fucking smooth. And uh, a deep juice well on top of it. Yeah. I want to do a bottom, uh, something, you know, where I could, I love the squonk. And uh, it squonks awesome, in my opinion. And uh, I know Mark could vouch. Mark's been primarily using it in squonk mode. And he keeps on saying, I, I'm surprised I haven't leaked yet. And if people know Mark, Mark is... He's a leaking motherfucker. Over squonks, always leaking. Why does my camera keep going out? Yeah, I haven't had no over-leaking issues, which I'm really surprised about. Yeah, when Mark. I place my coils, I like to put them, like, right... I haven't centered them or anything, but see where that little ramp is? Right sort of at the entrance way to the ramp. Yep. That's where it is, right uh, there. Level with the with the top of the ramp. Yep. Yeah, that's that's exactly how I did it. But then I also like it when it's raised up a little higher. I don't know why, just something about it. Yeah, if you're going to raise it up, then you could go just a little bit past the ramp. Because when you raise it, it's going to bend it a little bit in. You know what I'm saying? Because of the height. Also, getting your uh, snippers in to clip your legs, super fucking easy. Nothing's in the way. Nothing's difficult to get in there and do it. Yeah, Brian got that in pretty quick. Too. Yeah, it's done. Boom. So all I got to do is just pulse it and uh, see what resistance I'm running here. So it's like a 0.12. It'll probably be a 0.11 when I'm finished. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, I hate those fucking tweezers. You hate these ones? Yeah. I can't Why? I don't know. They're just... They're fat. I don't know what it is about those things. I just don't like them. I like the other ones. I like using these. I use them always in all my videos. You can see all black. The black ceramics. I have not tried those. Yeah. Coil Master. You're scraping the coil with the ceramic end? It works with the ceramic too. I would think it would like it would like chew off the ceramic. You have like little ceramic dust on your coils. Oh shit, I haven't thought of that one. Huh? <clears throat> Maybe it's just me being paranoid. 
That one lead looks a little bit. Yeah, I gotta tighten it down a little bit. It's a little bit too far out the coil. Mm, I think it's just raised up a little bit higher, so it looks that way. Let's lower it a little bit. What's the biggest coil you think you could put in there? What's the biggest? Yeah. The biggest that they make. What do you mean, diameter wise? Yeah, like diameter, like four millimeter. Oh yeah, you could throw in easily. Throw in a four millimeter coil in there. That's another thing too. Yeah. Being able to just throw in some big bills in there. There's plenty of room for your cotton. Yep. I got three millimeter here at the moment. Mine's opened up pretty low, like 0 0.08. It's beautiful. Jared, what are you talking about? What did he say? You guys can answer questions about this. Also yeah, it's what I was smoking. Maybe it's about the uh, tweezer comment. Uh, Michael Jacob is like pulsing at 80 watts with a question mark. <laughs> That's Brian for you. Like... Yeah, I, I turned it down as I was sitting here. That's what I do. Brian like... likes he likes to melt the coils together. I usually melt the coil into the bottom of the well, and then I pour it into a mold for like jewelry and stuff. Uh, does the cap for the icon fit on the iconic? No. Did you try it? No. Uh, I'm going to try it just for shits and giggles. I haven't tried it. There's no reason why it's... Um, Alex, I'll show you the uh, the Dreamer mod once we're done with the uh, Iconic. It does fit, but it doesn't go all the way down, Mike. Unless the O-ring could be removed, maybe? It fits. Yeah, I bet you if you change the O-ring, it would fit. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> that actually might work. That'd be funny. Take the O-rings off and see, Mike. No, you're right. It might work. No, no, it doesn't. It's not that why it doesn't fit. It, it hits the top. The iconic is short. The, oh, the post, deck. post screws are hitting. Yeah, the build deck is hitting the top of this. Cotton's a little tight there, Brian. Yeah, I know. Plus, because it's a two piece, with the one piece you get away with, you know. Sorry, Mark. I don't go to Tough Puff. Well, <laughs> this is why I don't do builds live. <laughs> I can actually do builds, though. I don't, I, I don't have my wife and fucking Tough I Puff doing that. for me. I highly doubt that. Uh -huh. <clears throat> probably, you probably want to brush a little more. I like that little, that little pick you got. Yeah, you like that? You like that there, fuckboy? I love it. Mm-hmm. An interdental stimulator. <laughs> All right, let's grab that. I'm sort of getting my wicking away from the airflow holes here over here. Yep. Yeah. There's the gold. The gold one is fucking hot looking. like that. Yeah. I thought you did better bills than that, Brian. I'm a little bit dis disappointed. Dude, I'm disappointed with every decision you've made for the past three years that I've known you. So what are you going to talk about? <laughs> I was hoping for something flashy. What, like that diamond encrusted fucking cod piece you wear at night when you're with the boys from the karaoke <laughs> house next door? How do you think the gold will look on the brass mod? I, I, gold RDAs, so, usually they, they match up nicely with brass mods. Mm -hmm. If the brass is polished up. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> is the seven color, you're calling it, the rainbow one? Do you like rainbow? I think the the rainbow is more of a female. 
I don't know. I guess I'm pretty sure some guys like it. I just mm-hmm. I'm more of a a straight color myself. Black stainless. Like the matte black is just hot. Yeah, the matte black is really nice. The matte black cap on the the gold build deck would be sweet. Uh, we got a comment from Stefan. What's up with the janky coils, Brian? I don't know. These are th- these coils are not the strongest coils I've ever used in my life. I'll tell you that they seem really. It could be the overstuffing of the cotton, possibly, but that's just that's just me thinking that. Sorry, I'll keep my comments to myself. Thank you, dude. It's not overstuffed though. If you look I'm at joking. it, this is. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm doing this pretty quick. Actually, it's only been like 45 minutes. Dude, I would still be screwing the coils down by now. You do builds on like a, you you make a the coil build Tuesday where it's like breakfast, lunch, and dinner that you're done. Two hour long coil build video. Yeah. Ro- Road Hammer Mike says black on the NATO. Well, go watch my NATO review. That's what I was rocking all black with the NATO. Where's my NATO? <clears throat> where are you, NATO? There we go. We're done. Oh, there's my. So let me drip some some of that JT on this. Vanilla custard. Now, what I like to do to to get in there for that deep juice well, I like to drip or like run liquid right over the top of the post in the middle and just let it run down the post itself. You can also access, since the, the, the posts are raised up on the side here, you actually have access to the to the actual deep juice well right here, and there's usually sp- enough space where you put your wicking to get juice in there. So you can pretty much like you know paint your coil or paint your wicks, get some juice filling up in there. If you're squonking, obviously you could squonk into that deep ass well too, but I haven't had any problems. Is this your full review? I'm assuming. Yes. Thank you. He's actually recording this. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I record everything. I'm huge in Sweden <laughs> from this show. That vanilla custard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. Is there any difference in the vape between a gold-plated build deck and a silver one? The gold... Sometimes gold decks won't, um, they won't darken your liquid over time. So you might like very barely notice a difference in flavor, but I highly doubt it. But it just, it keeps your, your juice a little bit more clear and it keeps your cotton sometimes cleaner. It doesn't get like brown after a while. There's some people that don't like gold build decks because of, uh, you know, sometimes they don't last as long. The gold might flake. You never know. You know what I'm saying? And there's people that also have allergies to gold. You know, there's actually a couple in the chat that don't want gold because they're allergic to it. So that's why I went with just the gold. Have a gold build deck. Uh, if tell you guys the truth, if I could have, which is too late now because it's already being manufactured, I would have done all of them gold and just the stainless steel. Iconic to be... Uh, a stainless steel build deck. I should have done gold throughout. The black should have been had a gold build deck. Or oh, whatever. Uh, someone says no really difference in flavor for them. Whether that's gold or not gold. Yeah, there's you're not gonna really notice the difference in flavor. It just keeps your liquid and your cotton a little bit more clear. Yeah. Luke, you could actually you could adjust the airflow a little bit, actually. What on the iconic? Yep. Oh yeah, uh, you can adjust it. That's the one thing I think people are going to be surprised with when they get it, because Mike decided to go with that solid one, uh, what solid top cap that's not two piece. It appears that you have limited adjustability for airflow, but you can fucking change this thing in like tiny increments, and it affects the the airflow and it makes it nice and tight but it doesn't fuck the flavor up and it doesn't whistle or anything like that. 
people think that uh, because it's all both are open, that it's too much airflow, which it's not. Because it's a ramp airflow, it's actually restricting that airflow. You can restrict the shit out of this thing. Like real, real, real tight. Yep. And the flavor's banging with it restricted. Like, look at this. There you go. I mean, I have a tiny bit of the bottom hole open, and then I have that opening on the side. But because <coughs> it's a ramp, the air comes in and hits the ramp and then hits the coil right in the middle. It's still smooth as glass. You'd be surprised, though, with all the air holes open, it's not as airy as you would think. It's yeah. it's the perfect airy res re resistance that you get. Yep. The airflow, if you have a drop and you run the airflow fully open on a drop, they're identical Yep. with the drop. Yep. So fully open on the Iconic and the drop, it's the same hit for airflow. I got with both of them running it. Yep. But the vape's really good. Flavor's on point. Airflow's on point. Easy to build. And for squonking, it's a fucking dream. And it looks sexy as shit. Plus, you get all those matchy-matchy drip tips that come with it. It's gorgeous. 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 What's it? When are people going to be able to have it, though, Mike? Uh, December, Christmas Eve. It's being shipped from China to vendors. So, so by the first, uh, you figure what does it take? Five days, six days. Yeah. So, so by uh, like this, probably with the holiday and with New Year's, it'll probably be like the second or third. So you're you looking at uh, people have it in their hands first week of uh, New Year's. Mm. New Year's week. When does China go on holiday? You guys remember or no? I think it's February. February. Yes, their New Year. <laughs> Someone wrote the iconic may have a shot for the Nobel Prize. <laughs> yeah, enough iconic talk. Let me show. Michael right. Jacob says, "Put the iconic on a mech, Brian." There you go. There you go, baby. I'll do it. There you go. Vasily says he's going to be at the Orlando Vape Expo tomorrow. Um, we're not going to be there tomorrow. Sorry, Vasily. We'll be there Saturday. Yep. Yep. Just Saturday. Hey, Mark. Why don't you dive down to your up-close camera and show off the drip tips that come with the Iconic? Not a problem. Someone said Iconic, Someone said iconic or drop. I thought we said enough of the Iconic. The Iconic uh, versus Drop video is actually coming out tomorrow, so... There you go. Stick around for that. I paid Mark a lot of money yep. for a good outcome. <laughs> Just know that, guys. <laughs> the do, funny do. thing is, is that I paid Mike a lot of money for the outcome of his Iconic versus Drop video. There you go. And you guys have to wait and see, because I'm never doing it. Now, of course, I have to give it a con because it doesn't have one of the old man long drip tips on there like I like. I like. Oh, uh, Mark, there's one correction that I f almost forgot to tell you. The stainless steel Iconic will not come with the green. It'll come with the blue. Okay. Because that's that was the, the polished version, and they threw a green in there. Remember, you have like a beta version. Yeah. All right. So it'll come with the blue. Three tips you get. <clears throat> There's a this, lot of people this, in chat, Mark, asking when does the Power Bottom RDA come out? Uh, very soon. <laughs> is this Ulta or what is this? Uh, or Delrin or something or plastic or Delrin? Okay. Did yours? Did yours come with? Uh, I don't even remember what's in that package. Okay. Where's it come inside there? You got the two. You got extra springs. I got the Allen key. Allen keys for the squonk pin. Oh, they, they didn't include in that package the Allen key for the grub screws. 510 drip tip adapter, right? Yep. And then... Yep, you got the two little springs in there, O-rings, yep. and the grub screws. Bottom feeding pin. 
got the sling down in there. Yep, that green drip tip is going to come with the gold. Iconic. All right. I'm probably going to screw that up, but all right. I'll write it down. It's a, Well, if you go on the website, it shows all four RDAs. Oh, okay. Drip tip. So each color comes in a different color drip tip? Yep. Okay. I can remember that. Someone asked to see this uh, Dreamer mod. There you go. This is the copper. I haven't even used it yet, but there she is. This is, I believe this is spring load. I don't think it's a magnet in there. And it comes with a, I think it's 2700. Little tube or 18650 tube. And the top cap actually comes off. Which, which I haven't awesome. seen in a while, yeah. You could actually, from what I, from I saw Heavy's video, you could reverse it. Yep. You could okay. switch the tube completely, yeah, if you like to hand the grip better the other way. Oh. Yep. And what's nice is they have little O-rings on this, so that way it doesn't rattle around on the inside. So it actually fits in there nice and snug, even though it's the wrong way. <laughs> Somebody said that all three of us should collaborate together and come up with a unique RDA called the TVT RDA. TVT, uh, that'd be pretty cool. I want I want that mech, but if with a to be a copper black Cerakote. Mm. That'd be nice. Yeah, well, this thing looks pretty promising. This mod, I think Mike got one. I'm not sure the Ronin mod. This thing looks fucking awesome as hell. No, I never responded to the email. Oh, you didn't? They made a lot of improvements from the original Ronin that they had. But, man, just like the way they designed everything, they, they thought about everything. They got the insulators on the inside of the top cap, inside the tube, and you drop your battery in from the top, and just the way the button is designed, it's pretty cool. This is really nice, but this is way more expensive. Is that straight up? Is that brass or gold-plated? It's brass. Yeah, the original one. Is fucking patinaed like crazy now, but lots of improvements on the one that uh, Mark has versus this one. The new one's way better. It uses magnets now instead of a spring. They had this like uh, medical grade plasticky type of spring in the original. Yep, the one that uh, what was the company again? Uh, Rogue Mods originally had used. Exactly. Yep. yep. Another mech. Oh, where's that other mech at? Uh, did you guys get that Coil Master one? I didn't even know it was a Coil Master mech. <laughs> I was trying to figure out who sent it. Did it see a skin logo on there? Did it, it didn't have a logo on the box? No, I don't think there's a logo on this. Is there a logo on this? There probably is. Cobra, Cobra. Kit. Who sent that? This is Coil I Master, guess, right? Coil Master. Yeah. Did I get that one? I don't even know if I have that. I got a bunch of stuff from them. Well, that's the one that looks like wood, right? Or is it this yeah. wood? It looks like it's like a wood. I don't think, I don't know. I don't think it's, I don't know what it is, but it's supposed to look like wood. You like wood, so you'll yeah. love it. How does it feel? How's the throw on that, on that button? It's pretty short. Doesn't, doesn't feel soft, smooth. Doesn't feel cheap. Nice. It feels, feels way better than that other mech mod. They, that other one was not, the, not the greatest. Yeah. That one seems a lot better. What's the? Is that wood just like a wood veneer, or is it like legit wood? I don't know. It's. I mean, it's around a. It's around a steel tube, but I can't really. I don't know. It might just. It might be the the metal itself. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I got one, but it came in here. The second one. They've been coming out with a whole bunch of stuff lately. But they sent me. Uh... I don't even know what this one is. It's called the Group Mech. Check this out. Did they send you to the sleeves? Yeah, they sent me it. Yeah, I got a sleeve just like that. I got two sleeves. That's the same mech, right? Yep, same one. Mine came in here. Huh. That's weird. Mine came in this one. I don't know. That's weird. What's the name of this thing? Uh, the Cobra. But well, this says it says Cobra Kit. So 
but it just it didn't look like coil master packaging and i'm like well, yeah it's coil master actually it feels nice a nice mech yeah and that's another reason why i didn't think it was a coil master mech i'm like oh this feels pretty nice no offense coil master it's got weight to it yep Let's see how this sleeve looks. This one's got like a blue tint to it. There you go. Oh, oh, shit, we have giveaways tonight. We fucking, I totally missed it. Should we try it? Should I try it? Yeah, try it. Okay. Let me look at the giveaway real quick. Mark, bring up your giveaway thing on... Uh, last on week? Your, uh, last week's giveaway and... Hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's that time. You know what it is. This is from bradsvapor.com. We got a giveaway from last week. You had to leave a comment in the comment section. Obviously, you need to be a subscriber of the vape team. You also need to be of legal vaping age wherever you live, and you need to be from the United States because Brad doesn't ship outside the U.S. If you meet all that criteria... <laughs> <laughs> Jewel life, baby. Yeah, if you if you meet all that criteria and you win the giveaway tonight, you need to contact me on the Vapor Chronicles on Facebook Messenger with name, address, telephone number, and your email address, picture ID, picture, picture of your picture ID, and you need to send that to me. That's all I need. Name, address, telephone number, email address, picture of a picture, photo ID, showing your age. And that's it. You win. I'll send that information over to Brad from Bradsvapor.com. And he'll send you over the winnings, and that's it. So, holy shit! I just got—I don't know how the hell this happened, but I just got unsubscribed to the Vape Team channel. It's because you're better than I knew that would happen. Holy shit! That's fucking weird. I actually deleted you because right before the show, I was going to my subscriptions and I loaded up, but I just went there now and it's not there. That is. By the way, I just want to put this out there real quick, and this has nothing to do with the giveaway, but if there's any, there's no need for infighting amongst people that support certain products versus other products, or he said, she said, all that kind of vape drama stuff, please just do, I mean, we're all human and we get emotional, we get feelings about things, we have opinions, and having a normal conversation that's respectful amongst each other, that's good. But when you start disrespecting people or like you know, threatening to hurt people or leave groups or things like that. It's childish, it's immature, it's not necessary. We can all share our opinions with one another, have differences of opinion and still support one another and uh, and be strong as a community because we need unification in this vape game because there's a lot of outside forces that don't want to see us survive. And uh, all the new people that come in, they're going to feel alienated when they don't even understand what we're even fighting about. And they're going to say, fuck this, I don't want to be a part of the community. And you guys know the community helped you some of us it helped not not mark but some of us and uh we need it so there you go i like these little speeches that you give every week thank you feels like watching one of those like after school specials mm -hmm. where it tells me like you know don't do drugs don't let my uncle touch me i'm gonna tell you to pick the fucking winner how about that right, here we go the uh the winner is going to me <laughs> Hold on. What are they winning? I know what they're I, winning. What are they winning? A fucking G box from Geek Vape. The G box. The right G here. box. The G box. That was from oh, last week's show. What do they have to say again? Okay, this comment says, "Does it really do 150 with Brad?" Good show, guys. Is that what they have uh, to say? No. No. Okay. All right. Next one. Maybe. Wait. Look at the. Just look at the comments. All look, right. Are you sure you're reading the right comments from the right week? Yeah, episode 135. All right. Bobby Entertainment. We're not giving away the G-Box. Oh, uh, this fucking show's all fucked up. We're giving uh, away the Fuchai. Oh, yeah, I think he's what? right. You are right. Right? Yeah, Brian. It was the Fuchai, because remember, Mike was showing his last week. Yeah, it's the Fuchai Swank. What? Fuck. Fucking Brian. Oh, I'm sorry. The G-Box is for tonight. <laughs> the Fuchai was last week, guys. So yes. if you, it, whoever the person is, it was the Fuchai from Segeli. Yeah. 
All right, does, are it you really do, does it really do 150 watts? That rock? was the correct comment. Okay. So that winner was the correct winner who won the Segeli Fashai, not the G-Box. The winner is Omi H O H M I E the Destroyer. Omi oh. the Destroyer. Omi the Destroyer. Here's to you, Omi the Destroyer. Congratulations, Omi. Omi's a homie. Dun, 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 dun. The giveaway for tonight is the Geek Vape G Box. <laughs> so, next week, we're going to pick a winner for the G Box, but you need to comment something in the comment section below the replay of this show tonight after the show's over once it re uploads. And you need to comment this. I like to touch my box for a G Box, Brad. There you go. What is if that, you're? What is that you're, too much in this PC climate that we're living in nowadays? What if you're a male and you don't have a box? You got a brown box. Oh, do you? Okay. You got flapping lips on your box, Mark. I do have lips. Yeah. I'm getting them removed very soon. Yeah, you're gonna have a anoplasty surgery. <laughs> uh, An anal reshaping. Fuck it all up. Yep. I kind of like this mech. Yeah. The coil master, yeah, I like this one. I like the jean one. This is, I think, it's supposed to represent blue jeans. Hmm. Is it called the Jordash? Yeah, I don't know, but the Jordash mech is fucking dope. I oh, like yeah. it. It's pretty nice. It's a nice mech. Back when you used to go to the roller skating rink, Mark, and I actually used to go to the roller skating rink. <laughs> of course you did. Like that's a surprise to us, dude. That was the place to go to pick up women. I'm back sure it was young in days. Yep. Like if, if you didn't get like a like a titty grab at the roller rink, then there's something wrong with you. <sighs> Do you remember back like in middle school when like you would back backwards skate? Who is that? Quick, thanks, Brad. Drop best flavor I ever had off an atomizer. Seven years, Mike. Your donut line's fire, and you put a free mod in one of my orders. Mark, congrats on your hundred thousand. You guys changed the game. Boom. It was all at one comment? It was a lot of comments, a lot of praise, a lot of love. And that was from Pal702 with a $10 donation. Thank you, Pal. Thank you very much. Thank Muchas you. Muchas gracias. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. Somebody said, grab them by the G-Box. Make America vape again. Mike Vapes, how long can batteries sit in a mod before you should take them out? That's a weird question. I I would say this, if you're going to store your mod and not going to you're not going to use it for like a while, like, you know, a week, I would say take your batteries out. Yeah. If you're going to leave your mod sit for a day or so, then I don't see any harm in leaving your batteries in. Some mods will drain the battery though if you don't turn it off. Yep. A lot of people out in chat are saying that I'm actually speaking to myself on those comments because I'm Brad. You probably are bred. So all that sexual innuendo that I speak every week is actually about me. Oh, fuck me. What was that? Either that or Brad's some kind of sexual predator with all these comments you got to leave, like finger me in the box and play with my hole and all these weird comments you got to leave. It's kind of creepy. Not as creepy as you, but it's creepy. <laughs> we met Brad. Brad's actually a normal dude, like a real nice guy. And yep. he's sponsoring this show? Wow. Yep. Nor <laughs> More power to you, Brad. Thank you, Brad, for looking past our differences and supporting <laughs> us anyway. <laughs> um, anybody else? Anything else to say? Any comments, concerns, thoughts? Well, then, congratulations again, Mark Fagan, for your 100,000 subscribers. Huge accomplishment. Look at that. Joey O just got said he got to hit that juice order, and I had an iDroid Zenith inside the package. Shh. Yes. There you go. Hit that juice.com. You never know what you're going to get. If you order from Fagan Industries, you might even get a used rubber. <laughs> You'll get absolutely nothing if you order from Fagan Industries. You won't even get the product you paid for. You'll get cereal used as packing peanuts with crabs inside. You have used socks. You'll be hope. itching after you put your hand in the bag to find out there's nothing at the bottom of the cereal. Crusty brown stained used underwears. Yep. 
I only sell used vape gear, like used tanks that have juice in them and half bottles of juice. That's my kind of sale. Mark steals plastic spoons from the store when he goes there just so that he can <laughs> eat because he doesn't like to do the dishes. Someone wants to know what squonk mud I was using in the iconic review. It's right here. This is the SQ by Signature Tips. Yes. yes. Mechanical squonk mud. mud. You could get this if you're in the UK, signaturetips.com, or in the United States at hitthatjuice.com. There's Mark's. He just got one. Spectre said fun. that he got a half-eaten pickle in his Hit That Juice order. Uh, oh, yeah. Darren donated oh, 10 bucks, and he says, can you please run the show for 20 more minutes? I love you guys. We're already 15 minutes over, right? Yeah, we are, a little bit. Well, actually, we're 10 minutes, right? Yeah, because we started late tonight. We can go over a little bit. Yeah, why not? We'll just have to sh- cut the show off in 45 minutes next week. That's it. Yep. Let's see. So we can answer some questions. Why don't we spend time with the, the people <coughs> in our community? Patrick Ritter says, the real Fagan Industries is a machining company in Massachusetts. Yes. Yep. They're machining RDAs, <laughs> RTAs. <laughs> yep. Pink Stacy car seat adapters. Yep. Whoever the company is, probably like, why are we getting so many hits for some some weird people? No, the funniest shit was uh, I had a, I can't remember what video it was, and one of my comments for a giveaway, one of the people that commented was Pink Stacy. <laughs> I just started cracking up. They changed their name to Pink Stacy. That's fucking awesome. Yep. There's a black, a black Keith and a Pink Stacy out there. Yep. Yep. Y'all hear about the fire in California? Dude, I watched a video last night of that fire with people driving down the highway, and it looked like Armageddon. Like, it was just ridiculous how fucking aggressive that fire looked. Yep, Southern California. Big fires. They had a lot of rain this year. A lot of growth. Kevin Ryan, I did read your email. I didn't reply to you. I'm sorry I'm very slow at replying, but I'm going to unban you tonight. Yes. I gotta figure out how to do it first. I'm not very skilled in that, but uh, I will try to do my best. Hopefully, I can do it. I can walk you through it after. To unban from uh, Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Yeah, it's on. Well, Facebook. you gotta type in their name in the member search. Mm-hmm. There's a ban member area or something like that. If you put their the name in the search, it'll pop up. Sweet deal. Have one of your admins do it. There you go, Greg. Get on the. Pass the email over to ST and tell ST to the thumbnail is first. ST's probably the one that blocked him. Good job, ST. One of your many admins. Yep. Mike, what keeps the floating clamp on the iconic from falling out? That's not floating, it's in there, it's in the rail. Yeah. It actually works really good. Yep. Where do you guys get Nilla Killa? Nilla Killa Paradigm. Yeah, this just Google Paradigm e juice or e liquid. Para Paradigm uh, Distro dot com. com. Yep. And there's a coupon code actually. There's a coupon code. I think it's a uh, heavy fifteen or heavy twenty. It's one of the two. Get a discount. There was a shooting tonight in Chicago. There's a shooting every night in Chicago, Tom. Thank you. <laughs> There's a shooting right outside of Mark's house. <laughs> There's a shooting in Mark's house, but it's usually blanks. <laughs> oh, <That's> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a vomiting fucking fettuccine. It was to build deck on the drop conic. There we go. You guys really want to see the drop conic? I'll show you guys the drop conic right now. Hold up. I need my good show. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. All right, there it is. There's this is actually the drop conic. I can't wait for this. <laughs> that fit on there? The drop conic. This is the beta version. It doesn't have oh. a locking system, but it does fit on there. Shut up! Holy yeah. shit! Do, do, yo, does this does the uh, ramp line up? Dude, I tr- I uh, tried it. It works good, actually. Does it really? Yeah. That's like one. That's the one of one. Yeah. All I gotta do is Dude, just buy. Do a I have? 
iconic and put them together in boxes. And- no, because the, the the prototype that he has was back when I was... Because ex- oh. I tested so many that's, airflows. But if you check this, top. this was the original, or one of the original drop caps. It had side airflow direct on the coils, and it had bottom airflow with a little ramp. That looks ugly as hell. But it, that wasn't the look. Yeah, but you could just take out the... Uh... How's the build deck? It's the same one that's this one here. Let me Just check. Hold on. Either one. Is that when I had the stainless steel posts? Yes. Hold on. A stainless steel posts and it had that. Yeah, I have a build in it too. Shit. There you go. That's the drop conic. One of one. It does it fit? <laughs> oh my god. It fucking fits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I showed this a couple of times. Yeah. What? A little bit of whistling, though. Because the, the airflow width. Yeah, it's is, not made for... It hits the posts. Yeah. That's funny, Mike. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's smoother now that I... If you turn the airflow a little bit. Yep. Hmm. Oh, I heard a whistle. What time of the drop conic is whistling? No. No. All right. Uh, <clears throat> any more questions, Mark? Are you reading chat or are you just zoning in? Yeah, I'm reading chat. Keep up with it, man. There's people that need <clears throat> information and you're supposed to give it to one of them. There's just a lot of crazy. All right, there you go. Mark Sr. unblocked you, Kevin Ryan. Yeah, I don't. I didn't block you. I never block people on there. So it had to be one of the admins. And it was like before the whole VN thing was going down and blah, 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 blah. So yeah. We don't, block, we don't ever block people that. You know, have an opinion. We just block people that cause drama. Hey, everybody! This is Jazzy from Canada speaking. I just wanted to let you know that I'm working on really hard on a, a little <laughs> recipe called Golden Ticket. It's enjoyable. Thank you. Have you guys built the Aries RTA yet? Waiting for the review. Ah, oh, you know, I, I gotta do it tonight. Oh, I need to. Fuck. Amy has not left the, let the Aries leave her hands since she got it. She vapes it every day, all day. That's like her tank now. I should I should actually build this and bring it with me. That would be a good traveling RDA. RTA. That's what I meant. Thank you, Mike. Brian doesn't even know if it's an RDA or an RTA. Actually, I'm going to build the Aries tonight and do that. Uh, one thing, um, there's going to be a... Uh, I'll announce it next week. Never mind. Why not sit down? You no, got... there's something next week that, that we'll talk about. But you already started saying it. Now people are going to wonder... And that will make them want to come back and watch the show next week, Mark, unless you make me uncomfortable about it. Well, they're probably going to thumbs down the show now because you just cut them off like I'm that. I'm going to thumbs down you. I would prefer to be thumbed. All right, fine. I'll talk about it. All right, let's talk about it. <clears throat> There's somebody in our group that hasn't been honest with you guys. And I'm just going to say that... I can't talk about it, Mark. Wait, there's somebody in our group that hasn't been honest with you guys. Yes. I like, I like the way this sounds already. Continue. There's somebody oh. that, in his videos, he makes it seem like he's placing coils inside of his build decks. And I know for a fact, because we have visual proof, that somebody likes to go to a little place called Tough Puff. Oh, Jesus. And get, build, <laughs> get builds done for him by some employee. Mm-hmm. I heard about that. Yep. I Everybody's been, been talking about it. My, uh, um, what do you call it? The Prince RBA deck review is dropping tomorrow, and there's proof that I do builds. You'll see it in the video. Too bad the hands look like you, but 20 years younger, because it's Marcus. Well, they are pre-made coils, but still. There you go. Does anyone, like, make their own coils anymore? Like, just, I'm talking, like, just regular vapors, not, like, coil builders. Like, Yeah, there's a ton of people in our, do you, do you ever come in the vape team? Oh, no, you don't. Well, I don't know. It's kind of hard to manage the the vape lounge and the vape team at the same time. I'm only one person, but I'm, no. in, the, I'm in the vape lounge all the time, and I never see you there either. Wait a minute, you manage that? He doesn't. No, I don't manage it. Sorry. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna check something real quick. It's just with so many pre-made coils out there, and some of them being so cheap, like, and plus, like, just so much quicker to do a 
to toss to build in. Like, I mean, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with building your own coils by all means. If you got the time to do it, do it. Save yourself some money, but it's just like one of those things like I don't know I just wonder if it's becoming like a normal thing for people just to use pre-made coils ooh it looks like the Falcons beat the Saints tonight no we're not we can talk, we're not talking about football yep. we're not doing that yes we are the Daedalus Pro yeah I, you know I never I don't know what do you mean you never you used it remember you were making your fake no. You make a data list. There's a data list pro now. Oh, you're pro. making your Fagan industry. I'm still waiting for a set of those coils. <laughs> so somebody uh, asked if we could have the wives on for a Christmas show. And actually, we're going to have a huge party for like a, is it New Year's? December 28th, right? Is that a Thursday? Yeah, December 28th. I believe it's a Thursday. We're going to have a like a between Christmas and New Year's show with Mike, Mark, and myself all at Mike's house. And we're going to do a show in one room together live. It's probably going to be a clusterfuck. We're probably going to have to separate and have our phones. Like, I'll be in the shitter. Mike will be in the bedroom. Mark will be in the closet. And then we'll do the show that way. But we're going to, we're going to attempt to do this because we're all going to be traveling up to New York to visit with Mike. So. We're doing a sleepover at Mike's house. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. So that's cool. Is Andy coming on after this? On where? On YouTube? On his show. Oh, you mean the show that there's no replay of? Yes. Eddie does that because he has a lot of shit talking on his show. And Here he we go. All right, guys. Well, let's <laughs> let's just end the show. We Joke. love you. We'd like to thank you for coming. We'd like to thank you for your support. And we will see you next week on the Vape Team. That's it. Aries. If nobody loves you, love Please yourself. Do Holy Mark shit. does. There's, there's the Aries. There you go. That was a quick build. And my wife just asked me if I changed the Wi-Fi password, and I did, so i got to fix that. Why would you change the Wi-Fi password? Because I was having trouble with my TV connecting to the Wi-Fi network for some reason. So you're paranoid that someone got on your Wi-Fi network and is hogging your connection? How do you fill in your head with all these stories of things you make up and think they're real? Because I do the same thing. I change my Wi-Fi password thinking there's people on it. But don't transfer your feelings about yourself and your fears of being hacked or whatever into my life. Mike's trying to show something while you're talking over Show him. it, Mike. You're talking over him. Is that the M class? This is the new SX Mini Penguin. I'll, I'll fucking naked wrestle you, Mark. Shut up. It looks like the M class, kind of. Holy shit. Hmm. It's got the 75 watt, the new board in there. That looks pretty awesome. Mike's got all this new shit he's not even showing us. What the fuck? I don't understand. I don't appreciate this. What battery are we going to use? Oh, put it on. We still live? Is it actually, it's actually called the Penguin? Is that what you said it was called? No, I, I said it's shaped like the penguin. Oh, okay. All right, where's the penguin? Do I have it here? Or is it upstairs? Well, I don't know. My wife actually took it from me. She's got she's running two of those now. Mark, do you know the Eagles play the Rams this weekend? Screw the Eagles. Screw the Rams. <sighs> According to the last game, from what people tell me, the Eagles are just a waste. Like, I don't even see why you waste your time watching them. That was just an eye-opener. They had to lose on the road to get that loss in so that when the playoffs come, they can just win out. Eagles. Yep. Such a man-child. Yes. You're a man-child. <laughs> you eat fucking dinosaur chicken nuggets. They're Mickey Mouse shaped now, actually. Yeah. Mike, anything else? What's the Smoant that looks like the G-Class? Huh? Are you guys, are we going to wait till I finish this? <laughs> well, that's what we were hoping for. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Well, yeah, let me finish it. So this way you guys can get my quick thoughts on my first few hits. Screen. Um, yeah, it actually vapes really, really, really good. No shit. The best single battery mod is the Vupu Newbie with the Gene Chip. They actually have a, a mod called a Newbie? I actually got a tank from them today. 
from Vupu. It's called a U Force. Oh damn! Wow, yeah. from U Vupu for U Poo, yeah. from Poo Poo. That their first tank, I think, or no? I think so. Hmm. I'm using the coils that they supply. This one's like a one point one eight. That's actually a really good coil, Mike. You, you'll like it. You left it spaced, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Gregory Brown, please don't egg Brian on. Thank you. <laughs> I may have missed the show, but I'll catch the replay. Congrat, Mark, on... Yeah. Uh, Amy's calling me about the fucking password. Hold on. Can you just, give it, just give it to her live hey. on the show. I had to change the password. Because I was having trouble connecting to the TV. <laughs> Real life problems here, folks. I was going to leave you in the dark because I know you've been going on there and doing naughty things. <laughs> okay. Oh, so you when you got home, you used up all your data plan for the month because you didn't realize that you weren't on the Wi-Fi network? Don't you love that when they do that? I'll give you the password, but I'm live on the show right now. I'll text it to you. What's the official giveaway? Okay, I will text you the password. What are you guys looking forward to the most in 2018? I'm looking more forward to some something different, some something innovative, something out of the ordinary. Like that one tank that Mike showed uh, this morning on ST show, like some new stuff, something different. Like a double-headed RDA. Yeah, there you go. Double head. Did you give her the password? Or are you texting it to her? I'm texting it to her right now. Why can't you just give it to her right now, like live? Because I don't want creepers like you coming over here and looking at fucking some unacceptable porno in my. Oh, I know why. Because I'm coming there in a few weeks, and you just don't want me to. Oh, I see what's happening. I gotta be honest with you, Mark. Let me just tell you this. The whole world does not revolve around you. Now that I'm at 100,000, I think it does. That's what you're going to think it does. <laughs> Buckle up, everybody. This is going to be a fun ride watching this from him. <laughs> He's only going to get more and more fucking ego-centered, reckless, and empowered. I hired a makeup artist. I bet you did. To do me up for my videos every time I you know, do a video. That's it. Ready to go, baby. Mark's going to say, damn, that was quick. That was pretty damn quick. Practice makes perfect. I would have just pulled it out of the box by now. I'm going to vape this at 12 watts. Wow, it's like vaping the Nautilus Mini on the fucking MVP 2.0 that I had. You got like three milligrams in there? I think I vaped that at like 35 watts, that coil, Mike. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's why I ain't doing anything. Yep. Uh, Pink Stacy RDA with an extra long helmet shaped drip tip. Probably coming. Why is that doing anything? There you go, folks. Man, the, the buildup's pretty strong for this one, Mike. It better deliver. <laughs> I mean, I'm locking the mod. I'm trying to vape it locked. Nice. There's a professional for you, ladies and gentlemen. Mike vapes. <laughs> I will try my best to obtain Vlad photos from Amy this weekend. If I do... They will be posted. Mark, question. Do you ever pleasure yourself? And like after you're done, you look at what you pleasured yourself to and you're disgusted with yourself? Not so much disgusted. Just like, you know, like, yeah. you, know what I, you know what I do do? I'm like, what I do is I look at the clock and I'm like, holy shit, I was jerking off for fucking two hours? 
Yep. So, when you're done, you're like, I could have been done this in five minutes and gotten it over yes. with, and I would have felt just the same as I do right now. Like, I'll stroke a little for, like, two or three minutes. I'll go to another video, <laughs> and I'll continue to do that because I think there's going to be something better out there. Then two hours has passed, and I just find myself with some random chick who probably is sitting in a wheelchair. Yep. Nobody else left to – yeah, it's such a disappointment. It's like a – it's like a meat market of potential sexual partners, and you just can't decide. I know. Go ahead, Mike. Sorry. One, one point one two resistance. Eighteen point seven watts. What? What? <laughs> it's pretty airy with the just a little hole. Yeah, it's, it it could use a little bit more restriction. I'm putting it to the smallest. This is the most restrictive you're going to get. That's where I like it. That's the smallest opening. Yep. Now, uh, if I fully open this thing, you could direct lung this too. Holy shit. It's got a lot of airflow. It does. It's got a lot of airflow. I'm kind of shocked how much airflow this has. Yep. Especially coming from them. They're, it they're does not... have a lot of smooth flavor, though, right? Yeah. I got to build mine tonight now. Yep. So it's, I remember I, I asked Phil this. I don't remember what he said, but you, it's not recommended to build low on it, right? Like one ohm is probably the lowest. Or can you think no, of you can build whatever you want on it. Why not? Okay. I, could, I, I could throw in a, a fuse clapped in inside here, make it space, throw it right inside there, and uh, lung hit it. It's going to be a restrictive lung hit. I gotta build mine now. If you guys want to stick around for me building mine, we could do that too. Eight, we might eight, as well. Because <laughs> that'll take a few hours. 18 watts. Much bigger clouds than Mark's ever produced. See, it's so amazing the shit you can get off like 20 watts, and we're fucking vaping at 120, 100 watts and yeah. shit. But remember, that's all about resistance. He's at like a one point something resistance. 1. So 1. 18 watts is Heavy. like 45 <laughs> watts. <and> 45. <laughs> Good chat. Fagan Industries customer support. They made their name. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. Uh, now, would you want to bump up to six milligram on a build like that or no? It's three milligram. Like oh, seven. definitely. Yeah. Definitely yeah, six. Definitely uh, six. I'm, I put three in here. I'm gonna bust open. Uh, actually, I put in. Uh, it tastes real good. The pina, pina colada. This stuff here, it's delicious. The skinny vape stuff. I have a six milligram. I'm gonna bust it open. That's what I'm gonna refill it with. I would rather vape a six milligram at twenty watts than what I'm vaping now. Yeah, when it's fully open, it's too air off lung. This thing thrives, in my opinion, with the smallest airflow. The yeah, least where I like it. Um, Eddie Tooney has his at 0.4. So, yeah, you can build it really low. Nice. Yeah, you can. The flavor is surprisingly good. It's really nice. I love the drip tips that come with it, too. What the fuck's up with this device? <clears throat> Did it die on me? i got to ask you a question, Mark. I'll since, give you an answer. Since you spend two hours taking care of business, have you ever thought about maybe like calling up a buddy and like chatting about the meat market while you're searching well, through? I don't plan on going two hours. I, it's not like it takes me two hours. Like I could be done in like probably three minutes, but I keep thinking like I'm going to build it up and I just yeah. keep searching and looking. And then before I know it, I look at the clock. I'm like, holy fuck. Yep. Marcus has been sitting outside school for three hours. Waiting when for... I, I'm done and I drop it. I look down and my shit's like pulsing, like do doon, do doon, do doon. Like, and it makes you angry with yourself that you wasted so much of your life for yeah. something so unimportant. It's like I could have had that done in five minutes and spent a fucking hour and 55 minutes sitting doing... on the couch watching Netflix. Yes. Yeah. You got a slight <laughs> little whistle. I feel you know, bad for Mike. <laughs> And he sits through this shit. Yep. I was just checking. Thanks for your feedback, Mark. I, I'm waiting for the day Mike says fuck this. He's like, he drops his shit and he <laughs> throws yeah. his camera. He's like, I'm fucking out of here. 
Ah, uh, yes, me, yes. Somebody yeah. just said, congrats, Narc. I guess that's your new name, Narc. Because you're a tattletale. <laughs> He's a, a narcissist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Narc faggot, that's what they're calling you. I, re I use a real thick, um, really, like, good lotion. Like, really, like, really It good. has been a pleasure tonight. Why don't you show... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you show the audience what you use, Brian? I'm pretty sure they'll get a kick out of this. Anyway, Mike, Come anything on, else? Why don't you show them? That's it, brother. That's Are you it. embarrassed? He's embarrassed. I'm embarrassed of you talking right now. I'll wait till I go to his house and I'll Fine, think I'll talk about the fucking the vibrating beads that you showed me the other night and you said they were really pleasurable. Can I you... haven't used them yet, though. All right, well, stop I talking then. <laughs> I'm borrowing them, by the way, when you're done with them. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching. We got much love for all of you. We will see you same vape time, same vape channel next Thursday night, the fucking vape team. Love you. Bye. <laughs>I dry jerked for like 15 years and then I've recently like in the past six months got back into lotion <laughs> no shit it's like a whole new world for me I do that shit dry for too long man yep I forgot what it was like <laughs> is the Amphion RD more Is when you mix two lotions together, like two totally different brands. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Like spit and Crisco. Kinda, yeah. Mike, what lotion do you like? Olive oil. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he looks like fucking Greek olive oil. Oh, that was not so 20 minute outro. 20 minute outro. Gregory, Vaseline is old school. I don't think anyone uses Vaseline anymore. You can't wash the shit off. It stays on you for like weeks. Yeah, so you might as well change your motor oil in your car and just use that if you're going to use Vaseline. Yep. Now that Mike left, we could just sit here with the, with the show going still, Mark, and we could just talk. <laughs> I hear you. Oh, shit. Anyway, <laughs> I guess we got to go. We've been caught.